A few days ago, I was surfing the internet, when I found a beautiful and well-made cafe racer. And when I checked the builder's website, I was very impressed with the quality, and the number of amazing custom projects he already built. But when I saw the builder's location, it all made sense. Switzerland. The country known for its obsession with quality and precision. The problem was, which project should I choose for today's episode? And the solution was, why not several? I know that quantity and quality rarely go together. But not today. Welcome to Racer TV. If you like this cafe racer, I will have to say, there is more where this one came from. Today's projects were built in Geneva by Antoine Meister and the team of Meister Engineering. And this one is one of their first projects. It was built for Antoine himself and it is simply an amazing project. It is based on a 1977 BMW R100S. The most powerful BMW model on those days but it still seems not powerful enough for Antoine. Because the engine was completely rebuilt, with the most upgrades possible. And how powerful did it become? Let's just say, enough to accidentally lift the front wheel. This also means, it rides as it looks. I think Antoine made the right choices on this project. It looks very simple, but without being basic. And the nickel plated frame structure, is a very nice touch. I am not sure, but I guess Antoine got his inspiration, from one of the most iconic cafe racers that ever existed. The Egli Vincent. I think this color scheme, is the most elegant way, of presenting an apparent chrome finish, without looking too flashy. One of the things in which this project stands out from most BMW projects, is the fuel tank. Not using the original and voluptuous BMW fuel tank, is a very rare choice. And why? Because it rarely works well. But Antoine, was very clever on this point. Because he chose a long and low fuel tank, which makes everything look lighter, and elegant. Besides that, it combines perfectly with the very stylish rear cowl, and the minimalist bikini fairing. And this is precisely why it works. The combination of these three elements, and the nice taste on the colors and finishes, is what makes this BMW look so good. Not mentioning, expensive. Almost like a beautiful Swiss watch, ready to be displayed, in a jewelry store. Speaking about jewelry, it is time to see the next project. It may look like it has some real gold details, but in fact, it is copper. Nevertheless, it looks really good. This 
is another impressive project. From Meister Engineering. You may even say, the approach is relatively common. And I agree with you. Essentially, it is just a classic cafe racer seat. The original BMW fuel tank, inverted forks, and some other normal items. But in what concerns to the color and finishes, it really stands out from the crowd. I recognize that it may seem a bit flashy for my usual taste, but I cannot help but like it. These stripes on the fuel tank are definitely the project's main point of interest. It shouldn't work on a project like this one, but it did. And this is another one of Antoine's very clever touches. What makes all these stripes work is precisely this deepness effect. If you pay attention, there are two things that help create this kind of 3D effect. The stripes that look to be on the lower layer are thinner. And the shadow effects, which make the wider stripes appear to be on top. But there is more. This black shadow around all the exterior is simply perfect. Because it creates the illusion that the stripes are bended. Without a doubt, everything was tastefully done. But if you're not a fan of these copper finishes, then maybe it is better to see this one. Another Meister Engineering project, based on the BMW R100RT. It is interesting to compare it with the previous one, because it allows us to see what works better, and what does not. Personally, I think the headlight ring, looks better when painted black. And it seems the same dark color works for the front forks. Although both fuel tanks take a very similar approach. It seems to me that the 3D effect of the stripes, has the best result with a matte finish. But now, let's take a look to a different model, but still from the same brand, and same builder. A BMW K100 Cafe Racer. I bet some of these machines sections, look a bit familiar to you. In fact, the whole project has some similarities, with a very popular BMW. I am referring to this iconic K100, built by the Brazilian Lorenzo brothers. Essentially, most of the machined sections, were made according to Lorenzo brothers CAD drawings. But what is really interesting, is comparing these two projects. As you see, the grey BMW with taller profile tires, looks much more balanced. And if we compare this project, with the one from Lorenzo Brothers, then things become even more interesting. These comparisons, teach us a very important thing. The wheel's diameter, is always an important detail, to achieve some balance on the project's stance. So, here is an interesting question, about Meister Engineering. How hard can it be, to build custom cafe racers in Switzerland? Considering the very demanding Swiss laws, the answer can only be, extremely hard. And this explains why it is very important for Meister Engineering, to make sure that everything, is road legal. I don't know how Antoine and his team do it, but it is very impressive to see, how this builder has achieved such a variety of beautiful projects, in a country with such rigid laws. Thank you. 
for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.